government of Guyana's massive housing drive has led to the emergence of a vibrant new sector that over the past three years has been contributing a significant 11% to the country's gross domestic product. The Housing Ministry's International Building and Construction Exposition, which was initiated in 2010, is designed to foster growth and drive the dynamism of the private sector. This expo will be open on July 5 at the Guyana National Stadium for the fourth consecutive year. Our aim this year was to take a rest and come back next year. But the vibrancy of Guyana's private sector the proactiveness of Guyana's private sector is the result of building Expo 2013. The exposition, which has now taken a life of its own, paves the way for the establishment of partnerships among stakeholders, showcase products and services, promote construction methods and techniques, and explore investment opportunities. It's no wonder that this year's event is being held under the theme Consolidating Partnerships for Sustainable Development. We need more partnership, both local partnership, foreign partnership, all aimed at diversifying the manufacturing base. We also need to ensure that those partnerships lead to sustainable development. So how are we going to achieve advanced growth and sustainable development, which sometimes seems to be a conflicting part? A sustainable development must be futuristic. It cannot be static. It cannot be a five-year plan or a 10-year plan. That is why building Expo 4 would launch Silica City. And Silica City is our first real initiative to take industry, commerce, and residential housing to the highway or on higher grounds. Silica City offers a sustainable and viable solution for the country's housing needs. House lot applicants who are willing to accept an allocation in Silica City, their documentation will be processed immediately. Construction has a big impact on economic activity. It is one of the best ways of stimulating economic activity, not just in the construction sector, but across the entire economy as a whole, including trouble manufacturing industries. It is also in most countries has one of the lowest level of imports. So the stimulus spending tends to stay within the economy and that is something that we need to monitor closely. The second important factor is I feel employment. The construction industry offers a wide range of skills, uh, skills demand. But it also provides work for the unskilled, people who have, are young, now joining the workforce, and are vulnerable. It provides good, well-paying jobs. And the third, and I think probably the most important thing, construction is not only immediate economic production, it is also investment. This year's event will see the participation of regional and international exhibitors, provide investment opportunities and will create opportunities for networking between and among local, regional and international businesses. This annual building expo is making towards the development of the entire engineering and construction sector. GMSA's mission refers to its role as initiating advocating and promoting programs and policies for the development and growth of manufacturing and services sector of which the building sector is an integral component and a part. Over the past five years, the Ghana economy has recorded continuous growth in excess of 5%. Engineering and construction sectors contributed tremendously in this also, as Ron just mentioned. There is no doubt, however, that the sector's performance and contribution could be substantially improved 
if we were to ensure that we maximize utilization of all our local resources. Partnerships, as we know, harness and channel the benefits of innovation, cooperation, and pooled resources to create jobs, alleviate poverty, reduce inequality, and address the other challenges of sustainable development. In this, the 21st century, and in light of achieving the Millennium Development Goals, this approach is a direct path to successfully attaining improvement in the quality of life of not only Guyanese, but indeed citizens of communities worldwide. Through increased access to housing and its related services, and securing the lives of future generations. Building Expo is just one of the many examples of the lucrative partnerships that is shared between the government and the private sector.